In this video, we're gonna talk about 10 things that you should buy after getting your first bike. What's up everyone, Tyler from the MX Factory. That's actually T Livesey254 on Instagram if you're interested. And that's at the MX Factory on Instagram if you're interested. I'm from there, that's where we go. Um, we're here at TJ's Cycle Shop in Austin, Texas. And we're gonna go over 10 things that you've gotta buy when you get your first bike. Doesn't have to be a brand new bike, it just needs to be like, what, what do I need to successfully go riding and not be stranded or having to ask a buddy for things to do. So here we go. All right, the first thing we're gonna get into is uh, you need something to strap your bike down the back of the truck or the back of the trailer. So you're gonna wanna get some tie downs, okay? They come in many variations and many prices. Figure out which ones are right for you, grab some tie downs. The second thing we're gonna get into is gonna be a stand. When you get done, you're hot and sweaty, you need a place to put your bike if it doesn't have a kickstand, you're gonna wanna stand where you can throw your bike up on the stand manually or there's stands that you can stomp on and lift your bike up. Check those out, those are sweet. Third thing is, we need a bike ramp. You only need a bike ramp if you don't have a trailer. If you have a pickup truck, you're definitely gonna need a ramp. I suggest when you're new to the sport, getting a wider one if you can, because the narrow ones can be very sketchy. Fourth thing. You need some gas, but you don't, you don't wanna probably drink the gas. But you need uh, a can to hold your gas, and you need a gas can. Two-stroke, you're gonna need two-stroke gas. Four-stroke, you're gonna need four-stroke gas. The difference is two-stroke has oil in it. Okay, so you're gonna have to ask your dealer about all the details there, um, but you definitely know what gas you got, and you need a place to put it. And these cans are nice. I like clear cans, especially if it's a two-stroke, so I can remember if I mix it or not. It's gonna typically be a different color if you do. Make sure you get a gas can. Do you wanna see this beautiful face more? <laughs> If the answer is yes, make sure you check out our Patreon account. It's patreon.com forward slash the MX factory. We'd love to see you there. Small monthly donations, keep this channel moving forward. Peace. Here we go. We're gonna move into the next thing. This is number five, right? Is this five? This is five. All right, we're on five. You're gonna want some chain lube. Okay, when you get done riding, you wanna make sure you keep that chain. That's one of the wear parts that goes the quickest. You wanna make sure you keep that chain nice and lubed. That leads us also into maintenance of the bike. You've got to change the oil in the engines, four stroke oil, two stroke oil, you got to figure all that out. And you also have to clean and oil your air filters, which is where the air is sucked into the bike to keep the bike breathing and flowing and moving. You've got to make sure you keep that system nice and clean. Uh, the easiest process is the spray on air filter cleaner and the spray on air filter foam. Another thing in the oil department or in the liquid department is uh, a little bit of radiator fluid. Uh, it doesn't have to be engine ice. We are not sponsored by engine ice, but if engine ice wants to sponsor us, holler, right? And uh, make sure you keep some of this because bikes do use water or if you crack radiator, you need to fill it up to keep it going. Make sure you have something. Worst case scenario, you can use water, but I do suggest getting some good stuff. Number seven, this is seven. So many things you need to have. This is number seven. I'm confident this is number seven. You're gonna need some bike cleaner. It doesn't have to be this. Again, we're not sponsored by these companies. We're just giving you suggestions. I like Simple Green. I think Simple Green works good, a little diluted. I think it works the best. This also works, I assume. Okay, number eight. We're on number eight here. I'm confident we're on number eight. That's gonna be tools. You're gonna need some tools to work on your bikes. Most bikes come with a tool kit if you buy them brand new. If you buy them used, they usually don't. You need to be prepared for that. You're gonna need to work on your bikes. Things require a lot of maintenance. Make sure you're prepared. Number nine is gonna be a pressure gauge. All airs, all airs, all tires have air in them. You're gonna need to check that pressure to make sure you're not pinching tubes. Make sure you're not messing your rims up. So make sure you, call, uh, this is one I can show you right here. Pretty common. This one in particular is $25.99. It works. Uh, you're also gonna need a source of air if you have low air, whether that's a floor pump or in, like uh, some sort of air, right? I don't know if you go to the gas station, and you get it from the thing, but you're gonna need some air. You ready for a bonus tip? If you've got a KTM or a Husqvarna, you're gonna need a shock pump. A lot of these forks are coming with air in the forks to adjust the stiffness, so make sure that you have a shock pump. That's an extra. We're not even, that's not even counting as one right now. All right, you're gonna need some gear, okay? Gear's important. So let's just go head to toe. Don't skimp on a cheap helmet, right? Save up the money before you ride the dirt bike to have a good helmet because one thing that you wanna protect in your body that's sometimes unhealable is the old noggin. So make sure you protect the head. Some goggles, some sweet goggles would be great. 
You've got your jersey. A chest protector is suggested, okay? Chest protectors are good. Some people even wear elbow pads, that's up to you. you move down to some good gloves. You've got some riding pants. You don't have to be fancy to get by and go ride. Right? Just find you some nice riding pants. Underneath those riding pants are gonna be some form of knee pad and or knee brace. These are knee pads. Knee braces are a little more, uh, I don't know, robust. They're a little bigger, a little more protection. You move down and you've got your riding boots. Make sure you get you some riding boots. And another pro tip to go along with this one, some long socks that come up to mid thigh are highly suggested to keep the rubbage from the straps off of the legs, keep you riding longer and more comfortable. And that was 10, 10 things you need to buy when you go to the, get your first bike. Right. All right, yeah, I'm into it. I'm here we go. If you like this video, we got plenty more cool videos over here. And we actually have these sunglasses on, on sale on shopmxf.com. Just kidding, they're not there, but check out the website. Don't forget to hit our Instagram, like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon account. We need a little bit of love on the Patreon account. We'll see you next time.